I am having chemo number five out of six and I'm almost done baby fifth round get ready to get your butt kicked I'm so excited it's somewhat the final stretch um, this chemo was delayed a few days because of Knox's sickness but I was able to get in today it's gonna throw off my schedule for the week a little bit but I'm here I'm wearing this shirt which is so funny it's, it says I already want to take a nap tomorrow I um, already own this shirt before I had cancer I've always been a nap lover and really enjoyed my sleep time and so it's one of the reasons why I've been able to do well during chemo because sleep has been my best medicine and I don't mind sleeping at all I love sleeping and I sleep like a rock I've been taking some amazing naps during this chemo and um, and so it's one of the reasons that I've been able to deal with it all right I wanted to tell you guys something um, that happened to me a couple of weeks ago maybe a little longer um, it was in the middle of the night I just woke up in the middle of the night and I was struck with this intense crippling fear that I was going to die of cancer that my cancer would come back and it would metastasize and I was like Bo I have two tumors they only biopsy in one tumor what if the other tumor had a different presentation and I was just like you know entertaining all these horrible thoughts in my mind and and Bo and I, you know, we've been talking about how this future looks like for our family, for us to grow as a family. And I was like, no, I don't want you to be a single dad of two children. We should not try to expand our family. What if, you know, I don't make it? All these horrible things. And, and Bo was surprised, like, where is this coming from? And he was so sweet and talking to me and praying with me and encouraging me. It happened shortly after. Um, Kara Tippett's passing, of, uh, she, she died of breast cancer, she was a pastor's wife, we had a whole lot in common and, uh, and I've been reading, a, I had been reading a whole lot about her and about other women that have died of breast cancer and I guess that was just in my mind a lot and it just consumed me and um, it, it was rough. I, I woke up that morning and I just decided that I, I can't allow this fear that my cancer is going to come back to cripple uh, and consume me that way. Um, I don't know if I've ever expressed to you guys how aggressive my tumor is, the nature of my tumor. My tumor is um, HER2 positive, which is a pretty aggressive tumor. It's also progestin po progesterone positive and estrogen positive. Um, it had a very high growing rate, proliferation rate, which is another sign of aggressiveness and also uh, it's a bifocal tumor uh, which means that I had two tumors and it's a lot uh, more aggressive than a cancer that is only in one place just only one tumor and so you know as I talked to my oncologist you know she tells me you know we're doing everything we can in 2015 to beat this uh, but they cannot give anybody a guarantee that the cancer is not going to return and that they are 100% in remission after this. Um, I can only pray and hope for that. So I wanted to share with you a couple of verses that really helped me through times like this in, in giving me hope and, um, and just kind of resetting my, my mindset. Um, Philippians 4 8 says finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is true whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things Philippians 4 8 um, and also one of my favorite verses Romans 12 2 do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that's the most important part for me to transform by the renewing of your mind that you'll be able to attest and approve God's what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Um, and I just needed to have a renewal of my mind that morning when I woke up. I just needed to click the refresh button and start over and, and dwell on the wonderful and good and praiseworthy and lovely things that are all around me. The fact that 
the Lord loves me and has been sustaining me so faithfully throughout this journey in the fact that I am doing so well with chemo and um, I've had some side effects but I've been able to work that I have a wonderful job that they're so supportive that I'm surrounded by people that love and support me in such a tangible beautiful ways uh, that I have a wonderful husband and a healthy son in and just all these these wonderful things and, and I know that scripture does not promise me that I'm going to survive breast cancer there is not a verse in scripture that says Chantal is gonna make through cancer there's not a promise that's not a promise of God but he does promise that he's good and that he is present in, in times of need and um, that he's going to sustain me and that he's going to uh, be my ever help in times of trouble and I need to think of these promises I need to dwell upon these things I cannot not let my mind be consumed by thoughts of fear and let that you know um, cripple me emotionally and spiritually and even physically um, I also wanted to you know share with you guys I know that many of you out there are going through difficult situations that are not exactly like mine but you know our tendency unfortunately is to gravitate to the negative aspect of a situation and what I want to encourage you to do is that instead think of the beautiful things that are around you make a list of all the things that you have to be thankful for and dwell upon those things like that verse says in Philippians whatever is praiseworthy and lovely and beautiful think about such things um, God's goodness I mean there's just so much to be grateful for and I just want to encourage you to do that in whatever situation you're facing through um, otherwise fear is gonna creep in the enemy is gonna see that little gap and is gonna try to enter your mind he, he knows our weaknesses and we are weak and that was a, a moment of weakness but all I can do is just take hold of these thoughts and wake up every morning and choose joy and choose to trust in the faithfulness of God and not allow uh, the fear of dying to uh, take over my my everyday thought. Um, thank you guys. I've been talking for a long time. It's probably kind of rambling. Um, but uh, thank you so much for your faithful prayers. And I know it is why the Lord has been sustaining me the way that he has because I've been uh, lifted in s by so many people in prayer and I really appreciate that. I um, cannot ever express, oh, my bag is done. Okay, I'm almost done. And um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Uh, even if I don't know some of you, I appreciate your um, your encouragements and your thoughts and and um, and ultimately, most importantly, your prayers. Remember that love is so, so much bigger than cancer.